Jay Norton. I'm the soil fertility specialist for the University of Wyoming and the state of Wyoming, statewide um, soil fertility and soil health uh, education and research responsibilities. Soil organic matter ultimately comes from atmospheric carbon dioxide. Plants fix that in the above and below ground biomass as a uh, through photosynthesis. And over time, in an undisturbed ecosystem, especially in the tall grass prairie, like we saw in Minnesota, over the thousands of years that that was here, those plants transferred a lot of carbon dioxide into the soil as soil organic matter. So that, that tall grass prairie in this region represents basically the potential amount of soil organic carbon that our soil can hold. Over those thousands of years, it's, it's stored about all it can based on other factors too. The place in the landscape, depressions are going to have more than hilltops. Um, so it, it, it reaches an equilibrium over that time span with the climate and the landscape. And then when we start breaking the soil up to farm it, uh, one thing we have is the plow effect. We lose a lot of carbon. A lot of nitrogen is mineralized and becomes plant available. So those first few years after breaking a prairie sod or even a long-term CRP field, you uh, you get great yields because of that plow effect. But then it starts to get depleted and we start fertilizing. And we fertilize and we plow and we leave long periods where there's no cover on the soil and nothing going in, only things going out through erosion and microbial respiration. So over time of that kind of intensive farming, we've lost anywhere from 50 to 70 percent or more of the soil organic carbon that was once stored in the soil. And that's across the globe in, in agricultural systems. There's anywhere from 25 percent to 70 percent or more of the original organic carbon stored in the soil has been transferred to the atmosphere. And that, that's, that represents about a quarter of all the carbon that we've put in the atmosphere since the Industrial Rep Revolution. So just releasing it from the soil as we farm. So the more we took out of a particular soil, the more room there is to put it back in, to get back up towards that potential. We're never going to hit the original amount the native prairie had, but through the understanding best management practices in a particular agricultural system, that represents the potential we can hit in a farming system, and it's going to utilize reduced or eliminated tillage because tillage really opens up the soil, stimulates microbial de decomposition and loss. It's going to include keeping the soil covered as much as possible with cover crops and trying to uh, do what we can to really maximize biomass production from cover crops. So those two things, reducing disturbance and increasing plant inputs. Uh, are, are going to be what really increases soil organic matter.